And tonight, President Barack Obama announced that the American troop surge in Afghanistan is coming to an end. And here's what he said just a few moments ago. Thanks to our extraordinary men and women in uniform, our civilian personnel, and our many coalition partners, we are meeting our goals. As a result, starting next month, we will be able to remove 10,000 of our troops from Afghanistan by the end of this year. And we will bring home a total of 33,000 troops by next summer fully recovering the surge I announced at West Point. After this initial reduction, our troops will continue coming home at a steady pace as Afghan security forces move into the lead. Our mission will change from combat to support. By 2014, this process of transition will be complete. Now, of course, the Commander-in-Chief's timetable to bring home the 33,000 troops that he deployed last year concludes a mere month prior to the presidential election. And not surprisingly, many of his potential opponents in that race are responding. Now, last night you heard from the GOP's newest contender, as former Utah Governor John Huntsman, on the issue. In that interview, he called for a drawdown of America's, quote, very heavy and extensive presence in Afghanistan. And Texas Congressman Ron Paul, he's going one step further. He had some harsh words for the president's plan today is calling for the immediate withdrawal of all U.S. forces. And joining me now with reaction to tonight's presidential address is Arizona Senator John McCain. Senator, welcome back. Thank you, Sean. You know, I, if we go back at the timetable here, remember the words of General McChrystal. He wanted 40-plus thousand troops or we risk failure. The president dithered for months, and then he only gave him, you know, a percentage of what he was asking for. 30. Yes, 30. He only gave 30. And now he's pulling them out. Uh, Your reaction? The reason, well, my reaction uh, to that was we were basically 10,000 short. I guess, I guess it was 33. We were short, and that did not allow us to go to the eastern part of Afghanistan, where how, the Haqqani, Haqqani network and other Taliban elements and al-Qaeda elements remain. But that uh, decision that was made by the president in 2009 was really uh, a victory by General Petraeus. This time, this is a victory by the Vice President Joe Biden over the objections of General Petraeus and other military leaders that I have talked to. We've made great gains, Sean. They are fragile. And if we pull out too soon, then I think the consequences will be, unfortunately, the unnecessary sacrifice of American blood well, treasure. Gen 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 Wall Street Journal pointed out in an editorial today that General uh, Petraeus and his commanders may be able to succeed with fewer tri uh, troops, but it makes no sense after the sacrifice. And the one thing, I don't know if you noticed this, I didn't hear General Petraeus's name. Now, I heard the president mention himself, I, I, me, I, I, I think about a dozen times. I didn't hear him mention General Petraeus uh, in this At speech. All. That was a, a, an omission. How is that possible? Um, because it's obvious, even though the General Petraeus has not said it himself, but it's been widely known that General Petraeus objected to this proposal. And let me remind you, back in 2007, it was then Senator Obama that said the surge wouldn't work. It was then Secret uh, Senator Clinton that said for the surge to work, there'd have to be a willing suspension of disbelief. If you recall, uh, the Vice President of the United States wanted to carve Iraq up into three different countries, and all of them said the surge would fail. So now they're the ones who are reversing the surge and, in my view, putting the hard-gotten gains in, in, in a fragile condition. I hope I'm wrong, Sean. I hope the President is right. I hope he can do this. but. I Senator, think we, it, have, we, he, have, we have risked he, a great deal here. All right, he, he gave the artificial timeline. So if you're the Taliban and you want women uh, to go back to that way of living where they can't go to work and they can't go to school, you put an artificial timeline in, in place. The president doesn't mention victory in all of this. The fight is ongoing, but he's saying the war is over, over even though the fightings continue. Um, why would we expect anything other than the predictable, which is things would go back to the way they were because we didn't finish the job. Well, and you know that happened once before, after the then Soviet Union was driven out of Afghanistan. We washed our hands left and we had obviously the assumption of power over time by the Taliban. And as you just mentioned, are we going to subject the Afghan people to, to that, much less their 
in a coordination and work with Al Qaeda, which we know uh, would take place. Uh, look, Americans are war weary. I understand that, uh, but. The fact is that we have lost over 1,500 brave young Americans, as you know, in Afghanistan. We cannot risk that. We need to succeed. We can leave uh, appropriately by 2014, and there can be significant yeah. uh, victories, but we have to have two fighting seasons, this one and the next one. Right. Why do I see policy?